Hey guys, so we're going to continue on with that cringe thread from the other day. Yeah, the one where literally I couldn't speak, but and the one that I got brain cancer in, but it's all right. Um, the chemo worked, and I'm back, <laughs> and I'm going to do it again. <laughs> so let's get into it. Be playing one of my first 5th edition games with some Discord friends on Roll20. Text game Judas Spaghetti Autism. Roll a Dragonborn Barbarian. The rest of the party consists of three Brazilians... And a Scottish femboy. <laughs> okay. Right. <laughs> I've actually met one of them before. <laughs> Three of the two Brazilian bros are chill. One being the DM who does a good job writing out the roleplay and setting trying his best. The other is a semi-flaky elf finesse dex fighter who really just reposted and parried the game. Didn't do much otherwise. The last one is a trans girl who played a bard who ditched after like three sessions. DM actually ran the game to try and woo her keck. What? W- w- woo, woo her? Woo, woo her? Oh, all right, okay. Enter the Scottish femboy. Really bratty kid. Rolled a meta magic human sorcerer with wild chaos magic. I can't remember the exact build, but he had twinning as well as access to chaos chart to frag harder. This is, you know, I already know where this is going. Would literally re for 15 minutes after he rolled bad despite being a clear min-maxer. Would use his chaos at any chance he got. Then get a random effect from the chart and always flip out out of character when it happened despite knowing full well he took the risk to hit harder. Wait, but that's the point of wild well magic, is it not? Yeah. Like, you know, you really don't know what you're going to get. Yeah. As- one, All right, okay, okay, okay just it. keep going, keep going. One time got turned blue. Simply funny, non-mechanical change. Everyone else in the game thought it was cute and silly and had a laugh. He has a fucking <laughs> meltdown. <laughs> look, look, if you, do, if you can't handle wild magic, don't, don't, <laughs> don't, 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 don't fuck about wild magic. At this time, me and the Brazilian bros realised how fucking sensitive this ERPing Scottish femboy is and start to make jokes at his new lovely sky blue skin in character. <laughs> Calling him Blueberry in the sort. Sea elf, whatever. Kid has a total meltdown for like 10 minutes, begging the DM to let him re-roll and interrupting and delaying the game further. Keep playing. Get to orc camp to take out the chief for a quest. Scottish Femboy uses all his spell slots way early on and has to use cantrips or his dagger. Still whining despite basically sitting at safe distance the whole time. He gets shot at with an arrow and goes down or something. Freaks out at the DM. Says he doesn't know how to run a game slash his scaling's off slash yada yada. It's standard, isn't it? <laughs> Blame the DM yeah. for everything. <laughs> look, look, it's I'm cur- not a shit player, you're a shit DM. DM yeah, exactly. Like Everyone should know this by now. The <laughs> DM is responsible for absolutely everything. It's got nothing to do with what you make of the game exactly. at all. It's all about the DM. And if the DM does a shit job and he's not up to snuff, well then, you can say... <laughs> Fuck you, DM, right? <laughs> Meanwhile, me being a new fag, for some reason give my barbarian dragonborn a mining background where he grew up working with dwarfs. That, wait, that's from the old paladin party, is it not? Um, uh, never mind, keep going, keep going. Has mining as his background with mason tools slash background knowledge of stoneworking and minerals and his trusty pickaxe. Ask Brazilian bro DM if I can roll an investigation check for the integrity of the stone structure the chief is sitting under while his boys fight us. Roll high and the DM tells me I found a weak spot in the wall due to shoddy orc craftsmanship. Pull out one rock and the structure comes falling down in the chief and smushes him. Game eventually fell apart due to his whining at a ESL trying his best to run a simple game for fun for a new player and others as well as the other flakers. It was an eventful first game, at least, and I had fun. First game? Jesus Fucking Christ. Hell. I don't know. Like, I, I, I don't think I'll ever understand these people, you know? Um, There's just co- so many of them, mate. I know, but... <laughs> I, there's so many? Like, like, you know, but I, I guess if there wasn't any, we'd be out of a job, so like Yeah, what? exactly. And, like, I enjoy them. I think they're fun to laugh <laughs> at. And they're always a good example of what not to do, exactly. you know? So, take this as a... Don't do as I do. But do as I say. Yes. Because I can attest to that because I identify with most of the ga- that guys in these stories. <laughs> Had a creepy grognard come through our table. Big guy, greasy ponytail, goatee, and trench coat with a Grim Reaper printed tee. Oh, <laughs> shebang. <laughs> Why do they have to wear them t-shirts? Oh, I know. And you know exactly. Yeah. The they're, print. They're, they're, it's that boomer tier, don't fuck with me, Grim Reaper, with yeah. like a golden yeah. sort of aesthetic. 
calls himself Zim. <laughs> <laughs> No idea if it was referral or not, but with hindsight, I guess so. Played a min-max female fighter slash rogue with dumped charisma, but still tried to whore her out every session for cash. (laughs) Or what I dreaded was ERP. When the group tried to interact with him first time in a tavern, he immediately had his character do the put crossbow to your neck, back the fuck off. (laughs) <laughs> oh, the edge. The edge is so- <laughs> oozing from every orifice. Didn't earn him anything with a grip, and it didn't help the one she threatened. Was built to Nova enough damage to drop anything in sight in a single turn. I think she died when we were hunting some... <laughs> well, the west. Below the west. <laughs> and he chose to keep the character lying in a tent, describing her masturbating <sighs> furiously. Got her <laughs> got their soul sucked out, and that was that. Providence found that I played a Strad game with him another time, and he was slightly less autistic then, but the game died after the DM decided a deck of many things uh-huh. would be a fun encounter, <laughs> and it unraveled everything. Honestly, like, I, I actually am a fan of the deck of many things. It's a fun way if, like, you know, like, if your game's falling apart anyway. <laughs> yeah, and, just or, like, chuck it on the table. Just like, chuck like, it on the table. Guys, yeah. have fun. You know what I mean? I, I actually do think I am a fan of the deck of many things. Never saw him after that, and I just remember him as the weird dude obsessed with having his D and D murder hobo also be a whore. I mean, yeah, look, there's there's quite a lot of them. Yeah, you see, honest- whenever a guy comes in with like a trench coat, <sighs> ponytail, and all that, and then be like, oh, by the way, I play a woman fighter. <laughs> it's like. Ah! Honestly, I don't think I'll ever forget. I remember one of my teachers actually talking to me about the trench coat mafia, and this was in like 2008. So this is like a good that 10 years after. Yes, yeah, yeah. so, so that's like 10 years after the whole trench coat mafia thing. Oh, like, if any of you guys know what the trench coat mafia is, of course I can't actually. Oh, we talk can't actually talk about because it on you know obviously. sensitive issues and all that jazz, but. Uh, I don't know, it's one of those ones that always comes back to me in my <laughs> yeah, mind. Yeah. Anytime I imagine someone with a trench coat, I automatically picture trench coat mafia. mafia. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was, honestly, it was a, it was an OG meme before yeah. it means were a thing. Hey guys, do you like models in your tabletop role-playing games? Because we do too. Do you like having big bitty waifus on your table? Because we do too. <laughs> <laughs> we got human biddies, we got lizard biddies, we got orc biddies, Oni biddies, cat bussies. We've got everything you want at neckbeardia.co.uk. <laughs> Check the links down below. It helps us out a lot. Sorry for interrupting the video. Let's get on the story. Be in a living server for Pokemon tabletop games. Oh, this is perfect. Fucking oh, I, I, I'm, oh, I, I'm looking forward to the story. I already know where this is going. General rule is in order to play some sessions, you need to spend currency that you earn from GMing sessions for your peers. Well, that's kind of cool, actually. Yeah, but what if somebody's a shit fucking I know, and GM? then you, Yeah, I suppose. Overall, very fun. Nearly everyone I interacted with in game and out of character was generally fun to be around. Oh, that's good. That's good. They had a rivalry with one player. Shit was cash. And then there's Riley. Wait, was Riley not one of the names of, like, the baddies in Pokemon? No, that was, um... You know the Gary? Oh, well, was it was Gary. Gary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Lively does sound like the type of name that would be... Would be in Pokemon. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to this day, I cannot point pinpoint what Riley's deal was. Whether he was just an edgy fuck or purely an autist with severe KY. I can say, however, that the dude had no chill in combat scenarios. GM a session for Riley, rival friend and another player. The three of them were heading into an underground lab to find Pokemon and investigate it has been abandoned. Heading in, they find a pair of clinks. Fucker clinks? Like, I only know the OG 150. That's, so, that's, that's all I know. And some other Pokemon who attack them hostily. Riley pulls out his Haxorus on these Oh, Megan, clinks. is this going to turn into the last video? <sighs> is this going to turn into the last video with all them fucking... I hope oh, not. With all them vampire clan I hope not. No, I'm not doing this again. <laughs> I'm not doing not. this again. Like, Megan, just... Bu- Let's, let's do this. Right. Riley pulls out his Haxorus on these clinks and proceeds to nuke both of them with a flamethrower, using a feat to boost its crit rate. It's a crit. Under normal circumstances, death in the system is possible. The victim's HP is reduced to minus 200 of their maximum. Riley exceeds that maximum. Fudging the numbers a bit, I tell him, 
You do not kill it, but holy shit, proceeds through the game as normal. A few months or weeks later, a new player joins the living server, bright-eyed and eager to hop in. Everyone seems to welcome them, and someone runs a small expedition with them as well. Riley joins in. The expedition is set in a dark forest where slippery slugs and creepy crawly Pokemon live. At some point, new player, rival player, and Riley encounter thieving... Look, Ackle guys, gores. we're sorry. Okay, look. Ackle gores, huh? Look, we're, Stealing we're berries bitten, from right? lesser Pokemon. <laughs> New player tries to get them to stop stealing by using a bit of brawn and also telling them it's nicer to share. Rival player says, If it were up to me, I'd fry them. Psst, nothing personal, kid. <laughs> Tell <Teleport's> what's behind you. <laughs> For context, Rival player is only playing up the role of being an asshole for the sake of his character eventually going through a heel face turn. He isn't actually an asshole. Okay, well that might be interesting, although judging by the way you've already gotten the story, yeah. I'm going to assume otherwise. Yeah. Riley says, Hmm, okay, well I guess I have to act like the law and decide who's right. My judgement is that the bugs are lying. Choose now, drop the berries and leave or be burned to a crisp. Riley says, we should be civil about this. Bugs choose to drop the berries and leave. Riley says, you may go. Very next post says, once the berries were safe, my Pokemon uses Fire Blast on them. I use my feet to make an AOE to attack both Acklegores. Pick related, our collective faces when this guy gave his word to let Acklegores go, only to literally attempt to roast them. New player. I rolled to intercept the Fire Blast. I don't want them to get burnt. Riley, well, it made an AOE, so it won't save them from being attacked. Riley was literally actively trying his hardest to make sure he killed these Acklegores, ignoring this new player's attempt to resolve things civilly. New player only rolls high enough to save one of the two Acklegores. New player, burned out, says to just write her out of the session from then, <laughs> frustrated that it came to that. New player leaves the server within two months after that. Later find out from a friend that he killed a Wingull while it was dying too. Dude had no chill. I mean, Pokemon's a very light-hearted game. Like, you know, there's no, seven. There is no excuse for murder <laughs> bonus in Pokemon. I know. It just doesn't happen. It, does, it just doesn't feel right. No. Theft. And if you're going to be an asshole in Pokemon, play an asshole like Jesse and James. Yeah, and Jesse and James are actually cool though. Yeah. They're actually fun. Are we yeah. Jesse and James? No, I'm Jesse. Your Meowth. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, Meowth was cool. I go like Meowth. Do you remember? Meow. <laughs> meow. Yeah. I love that episode where. Oh, never mind. Before I start talking about Pokemon. Pokemon. <laughs> Look on our looking for games for games. <laughs> Why did you need to put that on? After? Find one. Dude is super chill. Invites me to Discord. One of those hub Discords where people DM random shit. Dude DM says he wants to DM for me and three others. Actually, the best DM I've ever had. I've said DM more times in this yeah. three sentence. Shit's not even close. Everything goes well until I hear edged hard talk. Trying to intimidate. I'm going to shove my dagger up your ass to your guard. <laughs> Long awkward <laughs> silence. Be me. Playing best D&D class. Cleric. <laughs> me, I like clerks. Clerics are fun. Calm his emotions and banish Tar to another realm. These people fucking exist. He ended up being a murder hobo and ruined the entire campaign because he was supposed to play the role that struck the whole campaign together. No, no that's not going to work. No. You can't have a murder hobo be like, oh yeah, that's all work. I'm no, also the glue like, of this game. No. No, let's be serious, guys. DM actually stopped DMing after Tar tried to intimidate the king in magic armor and a massive fucking hammer with a shitty dagger. <laughs> Why can't I find a good game without a retarded DM or player? <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I, like that's the problem with role playing games I'm sorry to say I know role playing games they are a lot of fun I do love them very much however let's be serious guys yeah let's be serious guys look we're like, all role playing game like, gamers most, here, but most, like, like let's be we, serious we are, uh, we're a look, pack of fucking retards yes, a lot of us like, yes like, we're all fucking retards here hands up I'm one of them uh, yeah like you know James equivalates to about six of them <laughs> yeah. but look we're all one of them <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just a matter of finding one that, that you, you can that tolerate. Can, that you can work with, yeah. you know, because like, there's no such thing as the perfect group, you know? It's just not a thing. Yeah. You know, I think you make do with what you've got and, like, you know, as and long as... you find a good one. 
stick with it. And that's why I said, if you, like, if you find a good DM, you suck his dick because if you're over you, eighteen. Yeah, and you because you can always find new players. Yes, you, there's always new players. That there's ho- it's like the fuck all good DMs. Like yeah. <laughs> GM keeps sucking off on players. Wait, 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 wait. It's supposed to be the other way, guys. I thought we, I thought we said we were going to go the other way. Basically uses the rest of us to highlight that guy's character. The one guy he sucks off just real rules us through GM campaign combat. Next beat combat, next beat. Try to have any fun GM makes the party shit ourselves. Take it seriously. He gives us shit rewards and his favourite all the best shit. Has every NPC talk to only the one player character. Won't play anything else and won't let anyone GM. Uh, Nothing too grizzly. My GM is a fagger for one dude in our party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, like just tell him to stop simping. Yeah. All right, just just like, like tell mate, him stop being simp. Can you off. stop being the simp? Like you know, or like you know, why not? If one of the other players just juts in there and just says, like you know what, I'm going to talk to this NPC. Can you suck my dick for like five seconds? Yeah, look, my 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 balls are dry. <laughs> my balls are dry. Uh, my, they're very heavy. They need draining. Could you please drain them for please me? Please empty. Please empty my balls. They're incredibly sore. <laughs> join a fifth edition game. I despise fifth edition. <laughs> well, look, why did you join that's them? Why you, why that's why you, you went long there, mate. There, didn't you? However, the DM has some top-notch homebrew lore and stuff. Oh, well then, okay. Campaign is chaotic evil. Giant red flag, but 5th edition doesn't really have alignment restrictions. Just go as a conquest paladin. Classic fallen knight scenario. Join a sorcerer whose character's entire personality boils down to I talk in third person, <laughs> act like a kid. Oh god, not one of those. <laughs> no, I talk in third person, act like a kid, and like fire. Is that not just a sorcerer then? Yeah. Is that what it yes. is? Yeah. And a barbarian can be described as, I just want to hit things really hard, bro. Me. <laughs> yeah. Barbarian is zealot, so we just bro it up in game. Cue to the DM player character, a min max multi class wizard slash rogue. The first thing it tells us is that we're idiots for how we do things. My pally tells it to fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Me and Barb constantly take the piss out of our super silent rogue who never shuts the fuck up. Fast forward. Finish the chapter. A lot of questionable shit, but it isn't too bad. DM has potential to make some solid game. A bit of a red flag on how the DM player character stole the kill in the big bad boss, but not that important. During the game, meet with NPC adventurer party, just like ours. They boast about doing pretty much our same missions, more or less. One even talks about necromancy. Tournament time! (laughs) (laughs) Right. Oh, so we're going to fight the NPC party, okay? We just start the fight. First is 1v1, and we let the barbarian get into things. The NPC is some ambush class with claws or some shit. Deal about 90 damage on the first round. Barbarian obviously loses. You know what? He just lost because he didn't range and lost initiative, I tell myself. We do the full party fight, and here begins the bullshit. Enemies are all multi-classed and min-max. Midway, we're doing decent, we're not doing good, but we can win this. NPC teams begins to spam mass healing work. Oh, no, you didn't. Fuck off. I love that meme. Like, you know, the party heals constantly, and then the, the big bad boss heals once, and it's that Glitter Thurnberg. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you heal? <laughs> How dare you? That is to say, we down the enemy, and they get them right back up with 5 HP. No round in which they need to get up or anything. Just go down and get up, fight at full force. One enemy ends up getting up five fucking times during that fight because of the spam. That's bullshit. We obviously lose because of that bullshit. (laughs) Decide I can't really handle more of this shit. Just tell the DM that I appreciate his time and all that jazz, but this game clearly isn't for me, as I cannot compete with the DM's builds. DM goes, Oh no, my super fun builds made another player go away. (laughs) The bad thing is, is that the guy had like 4k R's in Roll20. How do you DM like that with so much time spent playing? At least make it clear that you're only looking for expert players, so they don't get immediately wasted. I mean, like, I think the DM just wants to be a player. Player? You know... But why doesn't he just play then? 
I think because then whenever he plays he's probably going to be one of those backseat DMs yeah and then he's like no wait I wish I could do this why are you not doing that yeah. instead this is oh, you know you know the way you're doing things is completely wrong if you do it my way it's so much quicker more efficient you know like you're, you're obviously you're just stupid mate yeah. you know what I mean oh there's not, not much worse you know what do you do with this what do you do well what do you guys make have uh, you guys gone into any of these issues before Honestly, I, I think I've been pretty lucky. Yeah, I've for been the most part, lucky. I've had some issues, but never like I've never any had any game ones? breaking. The only time I've had a game genuinely fall apart was um, when COVID hit. Yeah, that was the only time. Yeah, a game genuinely fell, fell apart, apart for me. Yeah, um, that would be about it. To be honest with you, I don't think I've had another game that's been just a shit show from start to finish bullshit dms bullshit players unless you're talking about jonathan pissing on any, everything <laughs> but like you know like, all you need to do is a bit of control water put that piss back up the back up the shit <laughs> you know what i mean well as always hit subscribe check out the links down below check out the models the t-shirts the subclasses all that good shit hit the notification bell as well so you get notified every time we post go over and check out my channel when oh, you're yeah. there my links are down below as well and we'll see you in the next video. Bye! All those moments lost in time.